without a doubt, the greatest luxury Syracuse now possesses. Or so ran a notice in the Syracuse Journal of September 6, 1862. The newspaper was extolling the virtues of the city's chlorine springs baths. There were two privately run small bathing resorts located just north of Franklin Square during the 19th century. Although surrounded by acres of solar salt vats, they were actually quite popular. In an era when many homes did not have the luxury of indoor plumbing or hot running water, the opportunity for a warm bath or a cool one on hot summer days was worth the modest price of admission. The waters at these mineral baths came from the same springs that fed the surrounding salt works, so were high in sulfur and chlorine content. During the mid-19th century, bathing in or drinking such waters were also believed by some to have the ability to cure various aches, pains, and illnesses. One local story in 1856 claimed that water from Syracuse's chlorine spring helped those afflicted with indigestion, kidney complaints, and derangement of the bowels. There were different individuals who operated Syracuse's mineral baths during the 1800s. One, Armstrong Maltby, gave his name to a nearby street. But perhaps the most enterprising manager was a Dr. Julio H. Ray, who also invented an ice cream freezer, a machine for cutting peat, and an electrical process for extracting gold or silver from ore, eventually causing him to move to Nevada. Mm -hmm.